Alright guys, welcome to tutorial number 29 and in this video let us learn how to style tables. Now let us first create a basic table. So within our body tags create a table element and we can have rows in the table. So we're going to be using the TR tag for that and the first row usually contains the table heading. So TH and let's say column 1 column 1 and create another heading column 2. Now we are also going to have a second row which contains some data so TD table data this is let's say data 1 all right and another TD and data 2. Now when we save this and refresh our browser then we have column 1, column 2, data 1, data 2. Now, the first thing we can specify as a style is a border for our table so that it is visually more you know, convincing as a table. So we can have style and within the style we can create for the table. Okay, I need to use it as a selector. So table and we can have a border which is two pixels and let the style be solid with the color black. And when we save it and refresh then we have a border that appears around the table. Now this is something we had already seen earlier during our HTML videos but here's the thing we can also individually apply styles to the row as well as the heading and the data. So create a new selector so TR and let's give it a background color. So background color and let's say orange. Save it. When you refresh it, so you get a nice orange color border, sorry, a background color for each one of the rows and you see a white color separation between each of the cells. Now it's also possible to apply, like I said, a style for the TH tag so let's go with background color once again or or let's let's go with hmm, what shall we go with what shall we go with let's go with the color so color let's do white now let's save it and when you refresh it you see that the heading is in white color and similarly we can specify TD so let's give it a border and we can have one pixel solid green when you save it and reload it so you see that each element okay let me make it five pixels so that it's clearly evident save it and refresh it so there is a border of five pixels around the data TD TD tags so here's one thing to, to keep in mind though the TD tag doesn't actually over override the style of the TR tag even though the TR tag is even though the TD tag is included inside the TR tag it is just an addition to the already existing property so if there is a property to the TR tag then the TD tag is going to inherit that property and if there is any additional property specified for the TD tag then it is going to add that property in addition to what the property that TR tag already had. So that is why you see that a green color still remains even though the TD tag doesn't have a background color the TR tag does have a background color and hence the TD tag also has a background of orange color. So that's pretty much it about tables. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.